Wow, sorry, it was some something happened in the internet for a moment. No, it is better, I think. Okay, looks now we are fine back. Actually, this is a mistake, but actually the biggest mistake is to <coughs> not defending this one. So I should play like this to give up the other pawn. Hello, Niklas Wilman. Nice to see you here. Where are you from? So this was interesting and important. Ah, Denmark. Actually, I was once in Copenhagen changing the planes. <laughs> from Budapest to Stockholm we traveled to a chess tournament and we changed the place in Copenhagen in Denmark and I, I bought something in the shop actually in the airport to have something from Denmark because we did not go outside of the of the terminal I just stayed in so I was not really in Denmark I just uh, was on the in the airport <laughs> How long I played chess? I started to play chess when I was uh, seven years old. That was like uh, 36 years ago. <laughs> 36 years of chess. <laughs> Hard to believe it, no? For myself also hard to believe I will be 44 years old in, in three weeks. Three weeks from now, from today. Wow. Life just running, flow, flew away. <laughs> Thank you. Probably I will have like a stream on my birthday a little bit, some, I don't know how long, but I will have some stream. The 30th, just three weeks from now, 30th of December. And this was a draw. Of course, like this would be a losing move, I could show you. I was so good. Because this code outside passport, so it will make busy my king until he can penetrate on the other side. Actually this makes because of the even easier to win. Yeah, now this is the typical thing what happens. So black goes for the pawn and then anti white goes and captures the pawns on the other side. This is why it's important if your pawn is more far away from the other pawns. That can be a winning advantage in a pawn end game. But not only in pawn end game, other end games, maybe in rook end games, knight end games, nearly every end game it's, it's a big advantage. So think about that. 
try to get that advantage if you can. And here there is a nice winning move for uh, White, Tsutsvang, uh, can you find it? White to move and win. Mm. The finer parts of the carrot. Yeah, the important thing this is a Chutzwang position, so black has no good move. So we can, if we can keep the same position to attack, like this, you need to give up the pawn, or we can actually also move the king. You need to move, and then we can take it. Yeah, and it's good to know if the king is on h1 and the pawn is on h2 that's a theoretical draw actually like, let's say this is now a draw because the wild king cannot go closer because it will go with a stalemate hello midnight thirsty how are you today <clears throat> nice to see you are back. The concept you, you learned the concept of SWOT. What is a SWOT? Uh, so this strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Ah, uh, that's the swap analysis, okay. Okay, let's go back to the game where we were actually. So I did not exchange rooks. <clears throat> and d5 is, I think, a <coughs> good way to go now really on equal pound, equal round gain. This would be a nice finish of the game. Oh, Aryan Torin, okay. Yeah, maybe we can review the game later. Actually, my idea was maybe to try to think like something like this. He played now very well too. <coughs> threatening me, you know, if I would like to, wanted to play too, too strongly to win, look what's, what's going on here. Look what would happen, black, white to move.
I think you made the best uh, cure possible midnight, Rossi. You need to sleep more, I think. You just need to have a few days of good night's sleep and then the love will come back. You need energy for the love. Mm -hmm. Would be a nice checkmate. Hello, Glassy Smith. The question is any tips to prep for a 45 min plus funds? Five second delay tournament. I think one good way to prepare it if you play training game, something like that. Because then you will be used to the time control to play a few online training games with that same time control. Hello, Drew Skibli. Nice to see you. Hello, Jotam Chess. How are you today? Ah, Slayer MC, thank you very much for following. Invent you, thank you for the follow. Okay, so we have not, not, we have not too much left. Some. Let me show you my dessert. It's oat milk. Oatmeal, I think you call it. With carob powder and agape and and actually sugar. How do you call the sugar? Cane sugar, I think. If somebody else had a question about uh, one of the games in the Simon, who who is that? on it. Oh, but it should be something like um, let me look in the archive Stefanitz. When did we finish the game? Nighthawk. I think Nighthawk was had a question, but we will look at that later. Hmm. This is another game. Maybe. Mm, what, what's your rating? Let me just try to find the game because it. Okay, I found you. Ah, okay, here we are, yeah. Yeah, even to, yeah, I will play. Actually, we plan to maybe look this one more game quickly. 
and then I want to go, if we do a few puzzles together and then I want to play maybe a few games try to go to 2600 So move 26. Mm. This was hanging actually. Oh. Mm. I totally missed that actually. Oh. Hmm. No, I just missed this one. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to have some, sometimes like one hour free coaching on the stream, the video and audio. I'm still working on it actually how to make happen the audio video, maybe use Zoom or some other ways. Once I figure out, we will start to have those coaching sessions. Because you, you cannot send in links, only administrators can send in links. Mm. One moment, I need to take this call from, from sorry. So I will give you a puzzle, okay? Uh, let me do, let's do another puzzle and I will be back a little bit later. Okay, I need to talk for, uh, for a guy who makes our gate. Let's go for the next one. Okay, let's please calculate this one.